So I've opened three other packs before this. And Jinso, Kimblet, and Eves. So this final pack for not friends. One quarter of Luna to produce a running tune. Tune, tune, tune. Sorry bro, not pronouncing your name correctly. So this should be Hijin. So I went for the four pack. Which is that uh keep on for you. My go-to uh, anyway. So all the packs came in this uh, silver envelope stickers on totally nondescript which was a fair packaging concept but you know let's dive into it sorry the camera shakes because the sticker is um, camera is on the tripod it's on the table Stickers are intense lah. Mm. Stickage, not stickers, stickage. Mm. Oh nice. I'll tell you why nice later. So essentially for folks not in the know, the package comes with an 80 page photo book. Nice, this is hidden. So each package they, they denote is either Hijin, Kimlet, Jinso or Eve's package version. So each version is different and each version has essentially a different photo book. Comes with a CD and a pack of uh, photo cards. We'll look at the photo cards later. Look at the CD. So it's basically a printed card, slightly different colorways. Four different colorways actually. One, two, three. So much for trying to be glamorous. Yeah, the gun iconology is very, very clear in all of the uh, packaging actually. Okay, our friends, pink. Hijin's color is uh, pink. So pretty cool because all the all the specific colorways for the Luna members are there. Um, Bright pink for Hijin, burgundy for Eve, blue for Jin Soul, and red for Kim Lip. Anyway, check out my videos previously, uh, previous to this sequence anyway. So yeah, this is that. Put it aside. The photo cards. What was interesting to me was four photo cards per package. And they, so far, I've, I've gotten doubles already because I think there's a dozen images. That means three images per person. I, I'm not really sure. I'll research it and I'll put it in the captions of this video anyway. So, ooh, let's see what this card is. Burgundy is obviously Eve's. This is Eve's. Red is. Red is Kim Lake. Oh, so this is a landscape. Landscape Kim Lip. I have three portrait Kim Lips pictures so far. So this is my first landscape. Pink is oh, pink is Ejin. Why is it here? Oh yeah yeah yeah. This is my first portrait Ejin. Just go. Yeah, the first one I forgot when I opened it is uh, Jinso. Okay. These are nice. Put this aside now. As nice as I can. So yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm not spreading them out. Put this aside, and then you do a little pitch flip of uh, the photo book. Apologies for well, if you hear the sound in the background. It's a Sunday as I'm recording this, and uh, there's a rag and bone man that goes around, and if you hear the beep 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 beep. That's the handheld squeezy. Sound 
for letting people know it's like a universal in Singapore. We know that oh, it's the rag and bone dude. Nah. So yes, the sounds of Singapore as you watch through this uh, page flip in video, which I've not sped up. All the other previous three videos are sped up. So I'll do this real time, maybe easier. Uh, essentially, images are of the girls in the music video. Um, sequences of their location, and pictures of them in, uh, from the music video. Now, Heejun has... We see a lot of Heejun in the MV as well. So this is interesting because then we will see a spread of her pictures. Oh nice, look at that Eugene so whose face is cropped. Ah, look at that. Uh, this was the uh, interrogation sequence. As we flip through, I wanted to give a little comment, but it's my personal impressions. Um, I didn't, I admittedly didn't adore Not Friends the song. Um, and I felt it wasn't necessarily something that I associate with Luna. But then at the same time, and I, I, and I totally believe this and, and I really uh, appreciate this, that we are also hearing another aspect of Luna because they are not uh, encapsulated within the Luna pop sound of their uh, debut era but it is their entire discography which I am totally appreciating uh, I started Luna with their pre-debut singles, music and loving them for it and I stayed when they continued as 4012 because of the girls themselves having uh, loved them more than their songs so to see them oh nice this is the uh, opening part of the MV to see them individually even even for a quarter of the members here there's a part of uh, Ryan June's uh, music project Maxis Marxist project is also very gratifying to see because you get to see our girls um, expanding beyond their repertoire beyond what folks are expected of them and also growing as artists performers recording artists as well and that is something that we i would say we wish for for our girls each and individual one of them to go beyond and, and grow as an artist i think that is important as much as i love their pre-debut music i can't say they will constantly remain singing the same songs for the entire duration of their career and sometimes I, rem I imagine uh, a lot of artists have their like a runaway hit or their most successful song and it's constantly played by everyone you know one main example is Brave Girls are rolling that has become their go-to song that every listens, everybody listens to but at the same time it, it, it might be a bit of a waste for their own discography that folks do not listen to the rest of their songs does it make sense whereas for Luna there's a whole entire discography of folk of music that folks can decide as their favorites but to choose one song that's, that's what popped in my mind I didn't start this video thinking about that but to choose one song to represent Luna as a group before and now maybe in the future Maybe not in the future, no, because not all their tracks are out. It'd be tricky, right? I, can't, I certainly can't think of a single song that I can uh, represent, use to represent Luna if I want to share with folks. But anyway, that's just me rambling on. Pink or Heejin. And this is the Not Friends for the book. You know, do the nice spread of the album. Indulging a little bit more than I should. I don't really care. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My friends. This is good here. Okay, 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 okay. The cards. Of course, Heejin next to Heejin. So, so unfortunately, I did not get the uh, 
golden ticket or what you want to call it to get a signed postcards posters but nevertheless this is my spread to the friends thank you for watching <laughs>